Hello and welcome back to part 2 of BK Refutes Christian in a Polite Manner, Thou Shall Not Flag. I agree with the Thou Shall Not Flag, but... And that you're BK. And that I'm Christian. But uh, that's all about this title that's truthful. And you don't think that that's fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? You also believe in these flying celestial monsters? You believe either that the universe is eternal... And so, here's my question. If a pond is frozen eternally in the past, how does it cause itself to unfreeze? If those were the conditions eternally in the past, how does it bring itself to thaw? Or, you believe that the, that the universe had a beginning, like the most up-to-date science teaches. Unfortunately, most atheists go up against that because they realize the problems with that. So you believe out of nothing, everything came into existence. And so that's, my friend, is worse than magic. Because at least with magic, you have the magician and the, and the hat to thereby produce the bunny. You're saying, or people who do follow this, out of nothing, everything came into existence. Okay. There's called angels and demons and shit, horned a beast stuff that are tricksters who are playing who said anywhere that they have horns oh you're using how cartoons um give imagery of demons to influence your understanding of christianity rather than go to the bible so it's actually you who's bringing your opinions into things when i'm on here i'm here to debate biblical christianity also believe in angels and shit that flap their wings and stuff okay well i don't see that being too far-fetched because now with science and the string theory which i must admit it's just a theory and they're working it out is that there's now um many more dimensions than the four 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 dimensions that we know of and so it's not really that far-fetched to realize that there could be a dimension that a spiritual realm that we really uh, know about that we don't know about and uh, there's other beings living in it um, I know many atheists when debating them on the Big Bang and its beginning they just throw in these wild ideas that there's uh, many universes well so we believe in it in the fact that there's a universe or a, a world that we don't see a spiritual realm. I mean, I could go on all fucking day. Daniel chapter 5 verse 5 has a dismembered hand writing on the wall while the king's pissing himself. You have zombies walking around in your Bible. You have pagan monsters and shit. They're not zombies. They're the resurrection from the dead. As far as the hand thing is, uh, I can get into that on another video. Now, the monsters... Are represent are representations of different um, kingdoms and various kings and, and and what they did as it would say as an example in Revelation it would say like the beast with nine heads and horns on their head and then they will say well each head represents a kingdom and so symbolic of the Roman Empire and um, all that stuff. It doesn't teach that they're actually beasts that exist. And dragons that breathe fire and shit, and fiery serpents that swing through the air. Fucking ghosts and monsters and everything else, and you don't see the craziness of a part of that. Let's continue. When it talks about the dragon in the scripture, in Revelation, it says the dragon, that old beast, the serpent, the devil himself. So it's talking about the devil, not actually as a dragon that breathes fire and flies around. Our faith teaches that God created the universe. You want to believe that the universe came out of nothing, and all we are is a bunch of animals. Okay, so 
First of all, there's nowhere in your goddamn Bible where it actually uses the word universe. It does not say anything about God creating other planets. It doesn't say God did black holes or any of the shit that you speak of. It says in the beginning, and it starts talking about how God blew his fucking nose into some dust and created us from the snot spiritual vacuum cleaner. Get the fuck out of here with that. Next. What? <laughs> okay. He created the heavens and the earth. In Jewish tradition, it's heavens because there are many. There's heaven, the sky. There's heaven, the universe. And there is heaven, the um, realm of the angels. And then there's the inapproachable throne of God. And so they didn't have a word for universe or sky or any of that. They would just say the heavens. Oh, and the fact is that how he created it, how he created us, according to the scripture, isn't the issue. Because it, it's what it teaches, that we were created by a loving God, um, an intelligent mind who uh, is likened unto a father to us. And even if I were to prove you, even if you were to prove me wrong at every point I made, at the end of the day, all you're trying to do is get me to believe that I'm an animal. What the fuck's wrong with being an animal? You act like it somehow discredits you or takes away from your value as a person if you have an animal about you. I, I don't get it. You. It is. Okay, so you want to be an animal? That's that's what you're trying to teach and say. You sit here and you try to convince everybody that there was a big pile of shit there sitting on the ground and God just went <laughs> blew his fucking nose into it and you believe this. Then you turn around and you say that atheists are trying to say that we came from nothing. No, it's you that is claiming we came from nothing. No, it's not. We're saying we came from God. The fact that he used already created material and put us together, it's still saying that we were created from God. That's the point. You're saying out of nothing everything came into existence. Or you believe the or you would go against the most modern up to date scientific discoveries and say the universe is eternal. So what you're saying is that we came from nothing. Or you're saying we're things were eternal and then magically they changed by themselves and here we are. You claim that some fucking imaginary friend that you have in your mind and shit that other primitive people believed in and shit, a fear-based religion, you believe that your God came from nothing and created everything from nothing. That's what you believe. No, we don't say God came from nothing. The Bible, here's your misunderstanding of the Bible. Everywhere in the Bible it says God is eternal from everlasting to everlasting. The Alpha and the Omega. He is eternal. He is the beginning and the end of everything, and even goes beyond the beginning of time. Not atheist. My goodness, you're so twisted up in your own stupid religion, you can't seem to tell night from day anymore. Let's see what else you got. Okay. You want to teach your animal? Go ahead. Oh. The reason why I find an find an issue with teaching that you're an animal is it does devalue hu human life, and we see this um, throughout the origin of species, and what um, Darwin wrote about. Now I'm not against him, and I he was a genius, but he does say that you know uh, men are more advanced than women, and that um, white people are also more advanced than black people. Um, we see that Darwinism really shaped a lot of communist thinking and its mistreating of people. Now, granted, some people who claim to be Christian did this as well, but it, we teach also that God will give justice to those who were um, uh, right, uh, unrightfully done in by these people and that they will be punished for that. You don't. 
And there's a lot of injustice in the world. Stallion 76 account, I have videos that I dedicated to you. I think it was one or two. Okay. I have videos that I've dedicated to Jesus Freak. I've had videos that have been dedicated to Violet Kitty. I've dedicated videos to decent Christians as well as shitty, weak-ass apologist Christians such as yourself. I've also dedicated videos to Muslims and pagans and other atheists. Don't get all fucking butthurt just because... Well, I'm not. Uh, real nice, polite manner, so this agrees with what I said from the beginning, is you can't have a polite conversation or a decent conversation. But I'm here to refute your points, not who you are. I couldn't care less. Stay tuned for part three.